Hello guys, it's Sayyid Muhammad Wakas. Today I am going to explain you guys the duck traverse topic. Like uh, how to perform the duck traverse to get the accurate velocity reading and then calculate the actual volume flow rate across the duct to compare it with the design air flow rate. And this we are doing for air balancing purpose. So let's start. As you can see that we have this duct and uh, if we want to perform a traverse on this duct we need to make holes to get the uh, flow rate and the uh, instrument which we are going to use to perform this traverse is the uh, velocity probe or pitted tube. When you are using the pitted tube it will give you the velocity pressure then the individual velocity pressure must be calculated for each velocity pressure reading and then average together to measure the velocity pressure and then convert it into velocity in feet per minute so as you can see that this is the duct which we have and we have uh, inserted the pitted tube inside to get the velocity pressure uh, as you can see that pitted tube basically measures the total pressure and the static pressure to determine the velocity pressure. So you can see that this uh, is the manometer and the positive port of the manometer is connected to the total pressure port. This is our total pressure and this one is connected to the positive pressure port of this manometer and the negative is connected to the static pressure and uh, when you insert the uh, pitted tube inside it basically senses the total and static pressure and the manometer over here and it measures the velocity pressure that is the difference between total and static pressure when you insert the pitted tube inside the duct make sure that uh, the tip this tip must be pointed directly in and it should be parallel to the air flow rate this is the air flow rate and this is the pitted tube make sure that it is parallel with the air flow rate if you put the pitted tube accurately then velocity pressure indications will be at its maximum so when you are using pitted tube inside the duct you will get the velocity pressure reading on this manometer then you need to convert this velocity pressure reading into the velocity and then using q is equal to va formula you can get the actual flow rate and uh, so this is the table which uh, we are going to use for duct traverse of rectangular duct as you can see that this is the whole quantity required and this the interval c interval b and this a is representing as the duct dimension that is 10 inches, 12 inches, 14 inches and this table the duct size is applicable if duct size is less than 48 inches and, and for this table we need to refer to figure 1 this is the figure 1 and uh, the interval which I have explained above that is B and C you can check from here in this figure this is the dimension of the duct represented as A as you can see over here if we have uh, 10 inches duct size then A will be 10 inches then we need to check how much is the interval B and interval C and uh, how many holes required for duct traverse 4 holes required and B is 1.25 and C is 2.5 so the B is a distance from the inner wall of the duct to the center of the first hole that is 1.25 for 10 inches duct and then C is from center of first hole to the center of second hole that is 2.5 2.5 for 10 inch duct size and the hole quantity is 4 we already know so we have 4 holes 1, 2, 3, 4 so it depends on your duct dimension if you have 30 inch duct size over there then you need to make 5 holes with the interval B and C as B as 3 inches and C as 6 inches and this table is applicable if duct size is less than 48 inches if you have a duct size more than 48 inches you still need to make 8 holes to perform the duct travels 
but the interval B and C if you need to calculate the interval that is hold to hold distances and from the inner wall to the first hole and then from uh, inner wall to the last hole distance you need to get these distances from this figure so So as I already explained you, uh, we can use either velocity probe or the fitted tube to get to perform this uh, duct traverse. If you per perform duct traverse with the velocity probe, you can get directly the velocity. But if you perform this with the fitted tube, you will get the velocity pressure. And then you need to convert this velocity pressure into the velocity by using this formula. That is velocity is equal to 1096.7 into square, square root of hv divided by d where v is the velocity in the fit per minute and hv is the velocity pressure in inches of water from the measuring device and the measuring device which we use in the fitted tube that is nanometer and d is the density of the air in pounds per cubic feet if we are using this velocity probe we can get directly the velocity readings like over here so let's uh, uh, let's take an example. We have uh, 48 inches by 40 40 inch rectangular duct, and we need to perform a duct traverse on this duct to get the actual flow rate and compare it with the design flow rate. So if you go for 48 inch duct size by 40 inch duct size, so let let's take one dimension of this duct is 48 inches and move back to our uh, table over here so as per ashray and smackner standards for 48 inches duct size uh, whole quantity is required is 8 and the interval b and c is required as 3 and 6 inches so number of holes required are 8 and for the second dimension that is 40 inches 40 inches over here number of holes required are 7 and uh, uh, interval B is required as 2.85 and interval C is 5.71 inches you can refer to this figure to calculate the intervals that is B and C for 40 inches and 48 inches in the dimension so since the number of holes required for 48 inch duct dimension is 8 and uh, 40 inch duct dimension is 7 so we need to make a matrix of 8 by 7 that is 56 number of points we need to make a matrix of 56 points as you can see that this is the position from A to H we have total 8 points that is representing as 48 inch duct dimension and this is from 1 to 7 that is representing as uh, representing the duct dimension of 40 inches so this is how we have created uh, 56 number of points that is 8 by 7 matrix if you have uh, uh, 42 inches by 30 inch duct size then you need to make a matrix of 7 by 5 so since we have 48 inches the example which we are considering right now is 48 inches by 40 inches that's why we have created uh, 56 number of points or 8 by 7 matrix so after creating the holes uh, we need to insert that fitted tube inside to get the velocity pressure reading at the manometer let's say this is 48 inch dimension and the other is 40 inch the dimension and we have 8 holes over here and the 6 7 holes on the other side so we need to insert uh, the pitted tube at the first point here that is called point A and the other one is point 1 so if we put the uh, pitted tube inside at point A1 we will get the velocity pressure reading at point A1 and then from A1 to next 
a2 then a3 then a4 then a5 then a6 and then a7 if we move to this point this will be b point at 48 in 48 inch duct dimension so we need to put that uh, pitot tube inside at point b1 this is called b1 if you move inside more it will be 2 then b3 then b4 and so on and so forth we need to put the pitot tube one by one and we need to get the velocity pressure readings at different points so this is our matrix and we need to put the reading whatever we got from pitot tube but make sure that the reading which we got from pitot tube it's in uh, from the uh, the reading which we got from manometer it will be in the velocity pressure it will be the velocity pressure so we need to convert this velocity pressure into the velocity by using this formula so after using this formula we will get the velocity in fpm so let's say we got the velocity at point uh, a1 is 885 this is just an example you need to go to the site and you need to use this pitted tube to get the velocity pressure and then you need to convert the velocity pressure into the velocity and then you need to uh, put that reading over here at point a1 so let's say at point b5 we got this reading over here and then you need to write each and every reading over here and uh, after writing all the readings you need to sum at the point 1 and point 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this is the duct traverse for 48 inches by 14 inch duct so the number of points which we have taken for the reading are total 56 that is 8 by 7 and total number of points are 56 so we need to write number of points reading points that is 56 and now we need to calculate the average velocity so we need to write the average velocity over here so first we need to sum up all of these velocities so the velocity which we have over here is 7244 and uh, other point is 7442.9 and 7464 then 7263 and 6889.75 and then 6594.48 then 6437 so total velocity is this much but we need to calculate the average velocity since we have taken 56 points reading so we need to divide this with 56 so 881 feet per minute is the average velocity so this is the average velocity across 48 inches by 14 inch duct so let's say in the drawing we have a design air flow rate is 11,700 CFM. Now we need to calculate the actual flow rate across this duct by using this duct reversement. So by using this equation Q is equal to VA here Q is the actual flow rate that we need to calculate and uh, v average is the velocity which we have already calculated over here that is 881 feet per minute and a is the area of the duct and uh, v average it is in feet per minute we already calculated above that is 881 feet per minute and uh, a is the area of the duct so uh, as we know that it is 48 inches by 40 inch duct Uh, I will convert this into feet 48 inches in the feet it will be 4 inches and the other one will be 3.33 feet so 4 feet by 3.33 feet so how much area we will have that is 3.33 multiply by 4 you will get 13.33 square feet area So now we know the uh, average velocity 
across 48 by 40 inch duct that is 881 feet per minute and the area which we already calculated here that is 13.33 square feet so we need to put the values in this equation we have which into area that is 881 cross 13.33 square feet so we'll get the actual CFM 13.33 multiply 881 so we got 11,746 CFM 11,746 CFM so the actual CFM which we got across this duct 48 inches by 14 inch duct is 11,746 CFM and the design flow rate which was in the drawing is 11,700 CFM this is just an example to show you how to perform the duct traverse so this is how you can perform a duct traverse to get the velocity pressure from the pitted tube and then convert this velocity pressure into the velocity and uh, you need to get the area of this duct and using this average velocity in this equation you can calculate the actual flow rate across that duct and then compare it with the design flow rate so this is how you can perform the duct traverse for more videos keep watching my channel and don't forget to subscribe